What is up, everybody? This is Fun with Flags, our favorite show of the week, minus Chris Show in the Galaxy, where we teach each other about each other's respective countries. I teach my good friend Soda about Israel, and he teaches me about Canada in his turn. And uh, this is my turn, so it's my turn to ask, how are you doing, good sir? I'm doing pretty good, 50. Uh, I'm, I know you've told me the to- to talk about last week, but the background and stuff, made me forget like i honestly i'm curious to see what you've got planned for me today oh well, okay well um might as well get right to it so re- if you remember last week i my, my topic was the greatest israeli video game of all time yeah. <laughs> It, it, it looks like you were saying something there, and I interrupted. Oh yeah, you. I know I was gonna say yes, Peeposh, and then you played the clip. <laughs> oh, so, sorry then. I was just so excited to play that clip. So we're still continuing on the game aspect of it, but it's not a video game, not a board game, not a card game. I honestly don't even know how to categorize this. So let's just go with a game. So this is a game that I just discovered today while reading up a little bit about it so I can explain about it on screen. Thank you. There is technically an American version of it. Oh, what's the American name? Maybe I've heard of uh, it. I be- I be- uh, from what I uh, saw, it's called either, either Categories or Scategories. Have you oh, ever heard of Oh, I played Scategories. So it's basically, it's like that. And the, yeah, name, of the, ga- the name of the game here today is, if my mouse would cooperate with me, it's called Country City, or alternatively, Living Growing Dormant, or in its full title, Country City Living Growing Dormant. Basically, That's a little on the nose. what? A little on the nose. Yeah, a little bit on the nose. So basically, you just may make a chart, just yep. like you see here and in the background behind you. And so another thing that I discovered just today while we're researching this, there's also a board game version of it. Yeah, so see, I played categories because it's a board game over here. I haven't really? played it since I was younger, but yeah, I've played it before. So I've always known it as like you make a you write a chart either on a whiteboard or on a notebook or whatever. You could even do it on your phone. I've never seen anyone do that, but you can. And basically, that's how you play the game. You just write stuff down, and this is how we're going to play it. So basically. I don't know. I've never played Scatago. I've never even heard about it until today. So wow. here's the way I, 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 I've I always known it. It's basically you write, as I mentioned, the chart. You write on the chart a, you know, write city, sorry, country, city, living, growing, or dormant. Mm-hmm. And then each of us in turn goes A, as in the, the letter A, the first letter in, the, in your alphabet, uh, because we're go- doing this in English today. And you just start counting down all the, all the letters from A to Z until the other person yells "stop." Yeah, and the and letter you stop something from every. Uh, let's have something about that topic starting with the beginning of every letter, right? Yeah. So basically, if say you landed on on C, you go uh, country Canada. Uh, you go city. Uh, is Kansas? That's in K, right? Yeah. Kansas. So well, hold on. Kansas is a state. Kansas City is a city. Okay, so Kansas City, you, you go living as in a living creature. So let's say crab. Yeah. Okay. A uh, something that's growing, uh, as in a plant of some sort. Let's say a cactus. And something that's dormant, uh, a car, of sorts. Yeah. It's exactly like categories. I've actually got the rules here. It's exactly the same. Well, shoot. I tried to do something unique. Well, you know what? This is good because we're playing it from a different angle. Cool. Right? Now, we're playing it from 
the Israeli angles, which is good. Yeah, not the board game. Exactly. Now, as you can see on the chart in the background behind us, as well as this chart that I've also brought in, over the years, certain people have decided to add more and more categories to uh, the way this game is played. Like, for example, the name of a, of a, of a girl, let's say, and I can't believe it, I'm just doing this, Clara. Uh-huh. Let, uh, let's go, uh, and then the name of a boy, let's say Carl, with a C, not with a K. Uh, a profession, a, a sort of type of a job, let's say, I don't know, car salesman. I, I'm just spitballing here. And a famous personality, uh, Carl Urban. Yeah, that's with a K. Yeah, uh, the other, um, Chris Hemsworth, Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. What's that? What's the Carl Weathers, Carl Weathers. That's Carl Weathers with a C. Yes. Yeah. I, my, my mind was like the guy from Mandalorian, the guy, the, the guy from Mandalorian. Oh, you know, uh, a cool fucking creed. <laughs> yeah, but I, mean, I, I know that if I would, would have said the guy from Mandalorian, who was also in creed, you would yeah. have. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Um, so the only, uh, the only thing like I am reading as you're describing, I'm reading. The only thing that I can't figure out is how to figure out how you get a point. Me neither, and I've never been able to do that. So what do you say we just not use points at all today? Okay. We're just playing for fun. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Rules for acceptable answers. Okay. Uh, the first word of your answer must begin with the key letter. The articles ah. N or the cannot be used as letters, so you can use you know on a n for a or the for t. Okay, so if you if you're saying t, you're going to use the Phantom of the Opera, it have to be under p. Okay. Um, well, just you know, Phantom of the Opera without the d. Right. When answering the proper name, you must blah, 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 blah. creative answers can be acceptable. Um, yeah, that's the only thing it doesn't tell me is how to freaking keep points. Weird. Like I mean. They tell you, yeah, you, at the end of your turn, you circle the name, the the, the word, but it's just like, okay, but I mean, wait, wait, the way the way I've seen people do it is that if they have a different answer than the guy that, eh. oh, that's what it is. Okay, score points if no other player matches your answer. Okay, so if no one matches, the way I've seen people play it is if both of us have different answers, ten points each. If both of us have the same answer, five points each. And if one of us answered and the other one didn't, 20 points to the guy that okay. answered. So Zero the way points. this categories works is it's uh, one point for every, you know for everyone that the opponent doesn't have and zero points if uh, if you share. That's literally it. So this brings me back to my original this brings me back to my original question. Do you want to do points here? Um you know what? Yeah, but let's do it this simple at five version instead of the five, ten, twenty. Let's just do one a uh, zero points for shared answer, one for Okay, cool. Just keep it so, simple. Combine the two here a little bit. So just for comparison's sake, just for comparison's sake, what are the categories on Scattergory? Um, there it can be it can be anything. So it actually it comes with a book with a list of categories. Oh, a oh. book. Um, however, there is a category generator I found. Cool. But since we're playing this from the Israeli angle, let's just go with the usual set of categories of Country, city, living, growing, dormant, boy, girl. Um, and, oh, this uh, is for you to make it. Make gotcha. Okay, never mind. What? This what is, is for it? you to make your own categories. Never mind. Oh, okay. Never okay. mind. Yeah. So obviously, first of all, we got to we got, we got to start off with a, with a chart. Okay, so yeah. let's each write that. And here's another mistake that I see a lot of people do. They don't write the, the same order of categories. So let's just say a category one, country, right? Yeah, I just realized I might need a bigger whiteboard. Um. Okay. Or just write really, really. Yeah, I'm gonna do it tiny. Hold on. I'm also gonna make a proper chart. How many? How many rounds are we gonna do? Because category as is as long, as long as you feel like it. What? Okay. Okay. So category number two, city. Okay. So how about we do? We do three rounds for uh, three rounds equals a game. That's what it is in categories. And then that's if we're short though, isn't it? Sorry, that's incredibly short. Yeah, it's designed to to play as many games as you can. 
After all three rounds have been played, the total players totaled the three scores on their answer sheets, like we're going to be doing. Um, and then, yeah. And then after that, you just start a new game. Okay, cool. Uh, so, so category two, three, sorry, living. Sorry, what was number two? City. Finally, something that Israelis do that actually has an order to it. <laughs> okay, okay, that's... So, country, city, living, growing. So, like, uh, so like a plant or something, right? Yes. And because I've seen people do it a lot, we're going to count mushrooms and fungi into this, even though they're not technically plants. No, nah, but they do grow. Yes, they do grow. That's why they count. Okay, so what's next? Dormant. So that, that's only that's it, just the five categories? No, no, oh. that, that's the the that's basic the name of the game. Yeah, the, that's just the name of the game. Now we normally the categories that are added are boy, girl, profession, and celebrity. Okay. How about we do profession and celebrity? Okay. No boy and girl? Yeah, it's a little too simple. Let's let's just change those two up a little bit. All right. So which one are you are you writing first, profession or celebrity? I put profession then celebrity. Okay, so profession. Man, that's a long word. And I'm gonna write celeb because it's shorter. Yeah. What should we do after that? I mean, I oh, think you, you know what? Let's let's. Let's throw a little wrench in this. How about movie, TV show? Both in the same category or a movie movie, movie or TV? TV show? Two separate. Yeah, because I don't know. I do not have enough room on my whiteboard, so let me just try and make this a little, a little smaller. So but but do you think those would work? And then that's it for the categories? Yep. Okay. So movie then TV show. Okay. And I have officially ran out of room. So now you can officially make the chart. And fuck me, I didn't even make a space for the score. So maybe we should do that on a, on a separate thing. Uh, let's do it in the private chat. That's a good idea. So just for, again, for comparison's sake, how do you choose the letter in categories? So it comes with a D20. Oh. So let's see if I can find a categories categories die generator. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. We're, we're doing like I said, we're doing this the Israeli version. Okay. How do you do where it? Where we don't have budget for die for uh loaded dice. It's called the internet. No, I mean we, we this started before the internet, okay? Oh, gotcha. So we're just going off listing off letters from a to z and the other person yells stop okay because i actually do have a categories die generator right here yes but we're not doing that okay just let you know if you ever want to i have it on the other screen cool but i mean that's the version that i'm used to playing as sure okay now um, all right go i figure it's your game you should start first i'll uh, who do you who should sorry who should yeah, you I, I was gonna suggest that since it's my topic and i get to Pick the, the letter first. I'm going to start counting them down from A to Z. You stop me whenever you feel like it. Okay? Are you, are you ready for this? Let's go. Okay, so A. Keep going. I'm already up to Z. No, you're supposed to count. You're supposed to say A and then count silently. So the other person doesn't know which letter they land on. Oh, okay. Yeah, you should have said that part. I'm here going like, keep going. Didn't I, didn't I mention it? You meant you, you left out the quiet part. <laughs> okay, so sorry. My bad. Oh, good. Let's do this. All right, go okay. ahead. So, A. You know what? M. Stop. What do, you mean, what do you mean, M? You're supposed to stop me. Stop wherever you stopped at. I already went past Z. Let's How do this again. How fast are you counting? What? How fast are you counting? 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, K. Okay, because here I'm in, I'm trying to follow along in my head. I'm like, okay, A, B, C, okay, one more time. Just, just okay. yell stop. Just don't think. Okay, just okay. yell stop. Don't think of a particular letter you favor, okay? I thought you were doing it in your head slower. I'm sorry. My head just runs faster than normally. That's right. That's I found out over the years. Okay, one more time. Okay. A. Stop. If. Oh, okay. Okay, if. Okay, so give me a second. I'm just going to grab another color marker so this doesn't blend in. Oh, and uh, yeah, very important. No Googling. My honor system. My honor system. Just like a slowdown. My yeah. hands will be on camera. You won't be able to see it anyway. Yeah. So Both can... of us having our hands on camera, just like the showdown. Oh, do we need a time? Do we need a timer? Normally, in, in our thing, whenever the first one to finish just yells "stop," and then the other person just okay. Here, we... we do it with an egg timer because we we don't we okay. don't. The first person to finish yells "stop," and then however many you wrote, that's where you, that's the one you're sticking with. Okay, let's go. So we're going now. Okay. Oh, the door. Okay, so there's one that's tough here. There is one that's tough. There is legit one on here that I so I I'm I'm blanking. I I got several. Yeah, I've only got one. So just keep blanking. Oh. Um. <laughs> is that a movie or is it a TV show? Why did it have to be if? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not writing that down. I'm not. Writing. I'm. I seriously can't think of anything for dormant, so I'm just going to say I'm done. Okay. So yeah. Um. I'm also done. I've got two that I didn't fill out. Okay, so I've got okay. one. Okay, so so what did you go for country? Uh, the first obvious one, Finland. Me too. Okay, so no points for that one. Okay. Uh, city. I got nothing. Frankfurt, Germany. Is 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 Frankfurt with an with a ph? Nope. Dang, that's a good one. Okay. Uh, Next. What do, you, what, what do you have for living? Fish. Frog. There we go. Okay. Uh, what do you have for growing? Because we said it counts, I, I went with fungus. So did I. Cool. Uh, didn't have anything for dormant? The, that uh, I actually got a bit creative on that one. I went with feet. See, I was going to say Fuji, but technically it's, or no, Fiji, but technically Mount Fiji. So, I mean, I couldn't. Or Mount Fuji. Yeah, well, I could. Yeah, but anyway, so I got nothing. Uh, feet. Yeah, I mean, if you cut it off the person's leg, it's technically dormant, right? 
I suppose I mean food, but that's too broad of a. You know what? No points for either one of us. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, profession. I went with footballer, real football, not American football. Shut up, farmer. Cool, cool. That's that. Oh, oh no, oh. You, you do not want to know what I went with celebrity. Let me know uh, what you went with celebrity first. Francis McDormand. Yeah, that's a good one. You do not want to know what I went for. Oh, I do now. <laughs> what? what? What did you put? Foghorn Leghorn. Celebrity in my books. That counts? Because I was going to go for city. I was going to go far, far away. But then I was like, nope, I'm not doing that. I'm not going there. And... <sighs> Uh, what do you have to move? Wait, wait, wait. What? Well, would a fictional character count as a celebrity? I mean... Technically, if you could dress as them? I mean, technically, if... if I, I suppose we will be counting the Muppets as well, so... Yeah, well, you know what? Yeah. So, if it's a very famous character, a lot of the lines of a Muppet, or a Looney Tune, or um, Disney... Yeah. Someone that everyone knows, then yeah, just for fun's sake, let's why yeah. not? I mean, so I and one of the times I saw someone playing it for uh, he literally put Wonder Woman as a celebrity, yeah, why not? Okay, movie, what did you have for uh, for movie though? For your eyes only, the James Bond movie. Oh, that's a good one. I had the French connection. Oh, that's another good one. But I couldn't think of a TV one. Oh, you're going to hate it when I tell you what I have. Oh, no. What? Flintstones. Meet the oh. Flintstones. <laughs> Why didn't it come to me? Hey. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do this as a banner. Yeah, that's a, good, that's, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Delete the banner. Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. Uh, I'm just going to delete feet. For a second there. How many yeah. did you get right there? What? How many did you get correct? Well, we both said Finland, so no points there. I didn't have a CD. You did. So that's two points for you. Oh, we're doing it two points for a correct one? That, that's what you wanted to do. No, 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 I said one point for correct, zero for non-correct to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, so one one point for you because you got you got a city and I didn't. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got six points. Oh, okay. So hold on. One, two, three. What I've been three, doing is I've been checking six. off the ones correct. Yeah, I also have six. Okay, so we're six and six. But yeah, since we both had Finland and fungus, doesn't that count? Yeah. Oh, um. Yeah, those don't count. So that's. So the, ones, the ones we both had, we get zero points on. Okay, so that's four. Yeah, I have six because I got Frankfurt, Fish, Farmer, Francis McDormand for your eyes on Lena Flintstones. Yeah, and I got uh, Frog, Footballer, uh, friend, uh, Foghorn, Leghorn, and French Connection. All right. So that's four for me. Uh, we have a score. Yay! And I'm losing! Alrighty. Okay, so now it's your turn. Yep, you start counting down from A. Yeah, just give me a second to erase my, what I need to erase on the board here. Oh, so you're not you're not keeping your answers? That's what I did. I have a small ass board, that's why I'm trying to I'm just gonna keep score after every round. Alright, fine. I, I don't I can't get three across I won't be able to get three across, so I'm just gonna Alright. A Stop. Wow. Yeah, she stopped on M. <laughs> That's the one you wanted. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, go.
Hmm. One of them, you're going to be like, oh, that's, that's sneaky. All right. And one, my country, I'm actually not sure if it is a country off the top of my head, but I'm done. Shit. Uh, I was in the middle of writing my celebrities. Do you want to, yeah, 50, I'm just saying I'm done. You go until you're done. I'm fine. All right, fine. Yeah, I just let's just make this fair. Fine, fine. Because um, you say you know your animation, I know my pop culture. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. The, you know what? This would actually be a good game to play with our friends one night because we're from all over the world. Yeah. We're going to talk after the show. Cool. So I'm done. All right. Um, what did you get for country? I put Madagascar because I couldn't remember if it was a country. It is a country, yeah. Okay. What did you put? Moldova. Nice. Sorry. Okay. Uh, city. I went with Masada. Montreal. Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with Montreal. Oh, of course. Yeah. Okay. Living. Monkey. Moose. Cool. Growing. This one's the toughest out of all of them. I said moss. I put mold. <laughs> More or less the same. They're both. They're well. I think they're. I think they're actually both separate. Actually, they're pretty. Yeah, sure. um, I said more or less. More oh or yeah. Less. So uh, we each get a point. Yeah. Uh, dormant. I said mat, but as a mat, as a carpet rug thing, mat. Mount Fiji. <laughs> You could I mean, you could just say mountain. Well, no. The reason I did that is because Mount Fiji is a volcano. But no, but you. I mean, you could just say a mountain as a dormant. Okay, you're not, mountain. not going to be Fiji. Mountain. Yeah, Same. mountain. Okay. Uh, what about profession? <coughs> Sorry, I said uh, marcher, as in like someone. Yeah, marching down. Yeah. Yeah, you, you got it. Okay. Yeah, mathematician. That's cool. Celebrity. I'd be interested to see if we both have the same one. I said Martin Short. You know what? He didn't pop into mind for fair enough about Mike Tyson. Shame on you, sir. I the first one that came to mind. The first one was Mike Tyson. All right. Although okay. Martin Short, I love Visa Martin Short. If anybody's out there, I highly recommend you listen to the audiobook of his autobiography. Well worth the eight hours. Ooh. All right. Uh, movie. I'm actually proud of myself for this. I went with Moneyball. Ooh. So I went with a, uh, a slightly obscure, well, I will not say totally obscure. It's a little bit obscure Billy Crystal's 90, 90s movie called My Giant. Okay. Never heard of it, but. I mean, yeah. It much. Um, all right. TV show. I said Making a Murder. Moonstruck. That's very good. So. We all do. Oh. We all, yeah, we all, n- not a single repeat among, amongst the two of us. So, uh, so you're at 13. I'm at 13. Yeah, 13. All right. Screw this. How about we make it a best of five? Cool. That'll take us about an hour. All right, so it's my turn to start counting letters. Yep. Stop sending letters. Guess that reference. <laughs> Uh, okay, so A. Stop. J. Ugh. All right. <laughs> oh God, city's gonna be a little too easily easy. I know. Uh, actually, thank God spelling doesn't count. I mean, it kind of does. We're talking about letters here. No, but I mean, like the spell. You'll see what I mean. I don't know plants.
I mean, is that a TV show? Is looking behind me technically cheating? Whatever helps. You and your giant collection of DVDs and Blu-rays. Ooh. Sometimes I used to look at some of the Lego stuff and knickknacks and, and figurines I have in my house to help me uh, during trivia matches. Oh, yeah. Uh... Wait, is that? No, no, that's not. Uh... See, I'm done. Uh, okay, I think I'm also done. But uh, mine's a bit of a technicality that I'm not a hundred percent proud of. You're gonna laugh at my living one. Uh, okay, I'm interested to see that. So, what did you have for? Oh shit, I spelled it wrong. For country. Jamaica. Me too. Okay, so that's negative for that. Okay. City. Uh, isn't it obvious? Yes. You put Jerusalem, didn't you? Ah, uh, man, that was a good one. I was going for the joke. Uh, hold on. St damn it, we, do we don't have it. I was going for Judea. Oh, fuck. For so the Judean people's front. Awesome. Which, I, which, I did, which I deleted the thing for whatever reason. Hold well, on. we're both going to get a point because I put Johannesburg, South Africa. Oh, that's cool. Uh, that's a very good one. Hold on. Did you see a people's front? Yes. Okay, so what, what is your living? I'm curious to see that. <laughs> Jumbo shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I can think of. <laughs> I went with Jackal. No, oh, that's a good one. Living animal. Yeah. First thing that came to my mind. Yeah. All right. This is going to be fun. Growing. Okay. So I went with Jasmine, which technically is a flower, but in Hebrew. Sure. Does I that went, count? I'm going to say it is. Um, jungle. I mean, a jungle does grow. That's the toughest category, no matter how many times you play it. The ones where you got to go with inanimate objects, per se, those are the toughest ones. Yeah. What, what, yeah. Um, I'm curious to see what, what would happen for, uh, for for Dormant. A junkyard. Okay. I have a juice. Yeah. I mean, Technically, that counts. I guess, yeah. Uh, profession. You're going to be proud of me. I said jobber. Ha! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Two points. No, um, I put janitor. Okay, okay, that's cool. I love that you put jobber. I right on. Who uh, who did you have as a celebrity? Uh, Jeremy Sisto. Never. Who's that? So he he was he was kind of a thing in the nineties, but he also did he voiced Superman in one of those DC animated movies. Okay. One. Um. Yeah. I, I said Josh Rowland. That's a good one. Very good one. Thanos, man. Yeah, of course. Um, movie. What did I route? What? Uh, hold on. What did I write? Oh, Joker. Sorry, my bad. Joker. That's definitely one. I put Juana, man. Uh, and it's actually a movie from the like early 2000s. Okay, cool. Okay, now this is going to be the fun one because this is what this is the one I had to look behind me for. What did All you right. put on a TV show? I'm still not 100% sure it is a TV show, but I put Just Dance. That's a... I think it's a video it game. A TV show? I know it's a video game. Yeah, that's what I was struggling with. Like, is it a TV show or is it a video game? Video game. Damn it. So... No points for me. What's on what's on your thing? The Jeff Foxworthy show. 
Ah. I actually have the two seasons behind me. I mean, that typically also counts for celebrity, but... Yeah. Okay, so I... So both of us got Jamaica. And uh, other than that, I got everything except TV show. So you... <coughs> Uh, okay, so you got six, I got eight. Yep. I'm still losing no matter what. Uh, you're down by four. Anything's possible. Yeah. All right, so my turn to pick the letter? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Hey. Stop. Oh, this is going to be tough. I. Uh, yep, it is. Where's my marker? There it is. Okay. Uh, frig. Okay. I'm going to quickly use Google this because I don't know how to spell this guy's name for celebrity, if that's okay. Go ahead. You'll see why when I actually reveal it. Actually, i got to learn, click on it to learn how to pronounce it first. Yeah, that's definitely not how that's spelled. <laughs> oh, shit, there goes my joke. Ah, dang it. Never mind. You know what? Screw it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it because I'm actually having a hard time with two of them. Growing and dormant. So I'm gonna call it myself. Alright, I'm still going. But well uh, let's okay, uh, while the time you're still going, if I do think of one of those, I will add it, but at the moment I'm done. That's that's all right with me. You're going to hate me for my celebrity, though. <laughs> You're going to hate me. The fact that I was able to pull this one out my ass. <laughs> all right. Now I'm legit curious. I'm actually gonna bring up uh just gonna bring up who he is. Just so when you hear the name, you'll be like, oh that guy. Cool. I'm actually struggling with this also. Wait, can I Google something else just to know how to spell it? Yep, go ahead. You let me do it. Yeah, if you need to learn how to spell something, I think that's fine. Yeah. Normally, under regular circumstances, it's not allowed. 
Yeah, I, I, I did figure out one for uh, growing. I just, I did too, just quickly use Google to just make sure I knew how to spell it. <clears throat> Dang it. it. I can't use it. Okay, so I'm done. I can't think of dormant. I already have a dormant, but I'm just I'm just struggling with living and growing. Dang it! All right, I'm okay. calling it. I I I got nothing. So uh, what did? So how many did you miss? What? How many did you end up missing? I've got nothing for living or uh, growing. Uh, yeah, so growing at the last moment, I was able to pull something just because uh, uh, of something from the Disney game, actually, funny enough. And uh, really? Living? Well, granted, mine's, mine's a little, like, it's a little out there. So, okay. What'd you get for country? I'm assuming Israel. India. India. Of course, right? Uh, I. I mean, city, right? That's what I meant. Yes. Uh, is Indianapolis a city? Yes, and I put the same fucking thing. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, uh, for living, you said you didn't have anything. Yeah. What did you have? Island. An island is not a living thing. Really? Mother Nature. Things grow on. No, no, that's, that's growing. If anything, it's either growing or dormant. Well, if you look at Mother Nature being a living thing, but okay, I'll, I'll fine, I'll, I won't take it. I mean, that, that's making the category way too broad. And that's the thing with I. What else could you do? <laughs> okay, uh, growing. Uh, this is actually I did remember of a flower in Disney Dreamlight Valley. I did have to look up to spell it. It's called an impatens. Never heard of it. I never heard of it either. Uh, dormant. I didn't have anything. I said ivory. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, profession. This is a weird one. I said intern. Yeah, that can count. I put illusionist. It's an illusion! Fuck you! <laughs> it's magic! <laughs> what did you get for celebrity? Ian Fleming. That's a fucking good one. Yeah. I went with Yon Griffith. Is that, is that <laughs> Mr. Fantastic? Close. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Fantastic, no, no. also known as Officer Harold Lowe in Titanic. No, that's uh, Ian Griffad. No, no, his no. name is pronounced Yon Griffith. I literally just looked it up. Really? Yes. Wow. I did not know that. Welsh. Well, where did you go? Where did you go? My bad, I pressed exit on the wrong screen. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to stop sharing and I got out. <laughs> Hold on, let me just. Uh, I, think I think you deserved yourself one of these. What'd you get for movie? I know what you did last summer. Oh, good one. I went with the island of Dr. Moreau. That's a good one. TV. You're going to hate me for the movie thing that I chose, for the TV thing. Well, okay, let what is it? Let me know what you chose first because I, I it's I promise you it's terrible. Uh, I chose the 1960s uh, show I Spy. Oh, that is a good one. See, uh, mine is kind of terrible, but it's good terrible. Okay. You want to know what it is? Oh, I have to. In the front row. Hey, that counts. <laughs> um, sit, let's count our friends' shows for TV show. Yep. Okay, I like a very nice. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six on that one. You sure? Hold on, because you both said Indianapolis. Yeah, uh, I didn't four, give myself two, Island. Two, three, four, and I missed Dormant. I got everything else right. So mine is six. If I'm if I'm not counting the Indianapolis. Okay, so we both got six. All right. <clears throat> All right, so it's down to the final round. I'm up by four still, 29 to 25. And it's so, your turn? 
Well, no, it's technically your turn, but since okay. we've each done two, how about now we bring in that die generator for the last one? All right, cool. Okay, and then, uh, of course, if it lands on one we've already used. Let's drop my clipboard. Not going to lie, we've had some fun shows. This is probably my most, the most fun one I've had. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to lie, same thing. I mean, we can go. On, we can go another round if you like. I mean, we're only forty-five we could. minutes in. We could. We could keep going until uh, we're we're tired. Yeah. Um. Okay. How about this? So, how about how about we keep going until until my board is filled out? I gotta see your board. Hold on a second. Fuck. I meant to, I removed the wrong one. Sorry. Oh damn! This is how I'm doing mine. Oh, so you you keep erasing them all all the time? Yeah, I mean, well, this, yeah. This, this is this is how we play the game over here. Well, that's the thing. Like, if we we're playing like true categories, we'd have paper to do it, but I only have a small whiteboard, so I'm gonna have to do it this way. Yeah. So, but, but I mean, I, I organize my whiteboard the way we do it here. So yeah. what I what I did is I just put, I just put the categories along the side. And I'm just gonna write them across like that. He's just yeah, like, I saw, I saw that. All right. Uh, so. Time to bring this back up. So, um, if it hits Zed, we're not doing it. Why are you scared? Yes, that's 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 a freaking tough one. All right, fine. Okay, ready? Go for it. V. That's worse than Zed. Roll again. No, no, no. I mean, I I like a challenge. Okay. Oops, I went with, I wrote a W, sorry. Hmm. Shit. Um. Hmm. So the first one that came to mind for living, I'm like, oh, I think that's the opposite. <laughs> so write it for dormant. It's because here's the thing, though, it's also not dormant. I think I know what you're going with this. Yeah. You know, this is something we could bring to the multiverse, guys, if uh, forever both free on a Sunday night to play with yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, letters like this is where we're most likely to get the same answers. What? I said Probably. letters like this are likely to get the same answers. You're going to hate my dormant because you're going to laugh. Okay. Hmm. Here's a good one. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. It's a little too inside baseball. I was going to put my Valentine's Day plans every year. Hmm. Okay, so dormant in S. Uh, my sex life. There you go. <laughs> um. Yeah, okay, I'm just done. I can't think of living in dormant. Okay. I, I just thought of a profession. It's not a very good one. Ooh, I mean, ooh. 
What? What is it? it? That actually would be in profession. Never mind. I can't use that as a living. Movie, TV show, and growing. Damn it, Quake. Whose idea was it to add growing to this game? Oh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a, a Hail Mary on living. Okay. <clears throat> I can't believe I didn't think of that. Okay, now I'm done. I've got all the categories. Okay. Okay, so that's it for growing. Movies and TV shows is where I get fucked. <laughs> uh, I don't want to wing it. Damn it, uh, I got nothing for movie or TV show. Oh, wow. Oof. Okay. All right, man. Is there the only two you're missing? What? Is there the only two you, you, you're missing? Yeah. I mean, is Valentine's Day a movie? I think it is, actually. Is there a movie called Valentine's Day? There, there's one with Denise Richards that I know has the word Valentine in it. Um, just give me one second. It's not a good movie, by the way. It's a horror movie, and it's kind of... Ugh. All right. Not going to watch it, then. <clears throat> when did it come up? Ah, okay, there is a movie called Valentine, so I will give that to you. All right, fine. I'm writing it down. Yeah, I'll give it to you because I've got a totally different movie that is way off the board and you would never have thought of. Probably never even heard of it, either. Okay, so what do you have for country then? Uh, the only one I can think of with a V, Venezuela. I got the same one too. Okay, how about city? Venice. Vienna. Okay, that's good. Uh, living. You know, this one can be disputed by some people, but it is still technically living a virus. Yeah, I will give it that. If you allow this, I couldn't think of anything, so I went with a French word for cow, vash. <laughs> I mean, I went with a key reward for Jasmine, so, you know. Okay, so yes or no? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, this is the one I, I... This is a tough one because I don't know if this is a flower or if it's just the color of a flower. For growing, I put violet. Pretty sure that is a flower. Let's take a look at what you put. Because I, I, I can't believe it took me this long to think of oh, it, but... It's viola. Oh, no. Violets are a type. Never mind. Now, yeah. I put Venus flytrap. That counts as a type of flower. Yeah, it is. Uh, what about dormant? I put that as in a vat of acid because we will melt them with acid. Uh, this is where I can finally use this volcano. All right, fine. I mean, if it's uh, an active volcano, it's not really dormant, but, you know. Volcano can, can be dormant. dormant. I know, I know. That was a joke. Okay, uh, profession. This is what this is the one I'm not really proud of. I said vendor. That's still a noteworthy profession. Somebody has to feed us. Because I, I, I just think, think of it more of a vending machine. I, I didn't know it was an. Uh, does, does that technically count, though? Yeah, you've ever heard of a street vendor? All right, fine, 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 fine. All right, fine. I so, wasn't aware uh, no, of that. Vendor refers to the person. Okay, okay. Uh, I put vice president. Hmm, that's a good one. Okay, uh, celebrity. Val Kilmer. Ooh, that's good. Vanna White. Originally, I just wrote Victor, and I tried to attach a name, as last name to it. Victor And Kermit. nothing came to me but other than Victor Crumb. Ah, here's one for you, and you'll be like, ah, the other half of Firestorm. Victor Garber, the actor. First season yeah, of that, that name came to me... That yeah. name came to me. I was like, "Wait, is Victor Garber a real person? Yeah. Like, well, why do I have this name in my mind?" He is a well-respected stage actor too. He's the guy from Titanic. Yeah, yeah. He played um, he played Sir Thomas Anders, the guy who um designed it. Yeah, and they made a joke about it in Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I assure you, she can and she will. Uh, okay, what about movie? You didn't get movie. No, you I, did. I, I, I got Valentine because yeah, you that's right. Yeah. <clears throat> 
a very Brady sequel. The sequel to the Brady Bunch movie. Fine. Uh, TV show you didn't get? No. Veep. Fuck. I mean, there's literally a TV show called V. Now I'm, now I'm just realizing it. Oh, yeah, V, the V, the alien show. There's a, there is literally a fucking V TV show. Veronica Mars was another one, but I went, because this is the first one I saw, I went with Veep, because I had the first season. I thought you were going to pull up the DVD for one of the V, v TV no. shows. Now, I could have used this for a movie. I might have thought about it, but it's a movie that you are never allowed to watch. <laughs> Because of the name, it's called Vulgar. Why am I not allowed to watch it? Um, because it involves three hillbillies ripping a clown. I mean, I wasn't really planning on watching it, but now I'm really not going to watch it. Uh, the uh, This is just the only description on it. And this is a Kevin Smith-produced film. Uh, a once ridiculed and downtrodden clown elevates the celebrity status when he saves a child from a hostage situation, but being a household name soon brings the skeletons of a closet. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's 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 a movie that's like I gotta watch this like once every ten years. <laughs> gotta give some time to get that out of the of your system. Well, yeah, just because I like the people involved in it is one of the main reasons I have it. You know the comic book men? You ever heard what? of that? Show? You ever heard of the show Comic Book Men that Kevin Smith had for a while? No. Ah, uh, it was uh, it was one of the only reality shows I liked watching because it was basically it took place in his comic book store. And one of the main guys is actually the writer director of that movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so next, I, I got seven, by the way. Oh, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got eight. I mean, again, I'm still losing, so I don't even know why we're doing these point systems anymore. Because we're having fun. If, we, if you don't want to keep points anymore, I'm fine with that. We're just playing. I, I didn't want to do it to begin with. I mean, I just feel like feel like it's pointless. Hey, <laughs> get it? All right, yeah, no, we'll just we won't do points. Well, we'll just we'll just see who got how many right at the end of each round. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm gonna bring this up and let's see. Well, again. Ooh, F. We already did F. Shit. Okay. That, that was the first one. Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. It's a good thing I I'm still keeping it on on my board. Ooh. Okay, I can do that. I can do that as well. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. I I know I love it. Shit, is that a country or is it a city? Yeah, uh, I'll I'll help you on this one. What is it? Alabama. Uh, state. Yeah, that, that that that's what I thought. Is Armenia a country? Armenia is a country, yeah. Okay, I'm going to mute myself because I actually got to use voice to text to figure out the spelling of this one for living. Okay. Oh, by the way, so I, I told you I'm off, not this week, more likely the week after, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, there's a few things. There's a couple things. If, you, if you're up for it, I want to get. I want to watch with you. That actually has to be with the guys from Vulgar, but it's for their Patreon podcast that's been going on for years. I think you might enjoy it. Okay. Okay. Okay, you're really going to like my celebrity. Okay. It's not Aladdin, is it? No. Oh, God. Ooh, that's it. That's sneaky. Very, very 
sneaky. Okay. Okay, I can't think of anything for dormant, so I'm calling it. Okay. Okay. I thought of a dormant. Okay. Now I'm just, I just gonna need to think of pull up out a TV show. <laughs> I went with something my mom used to watch when I was a kid. All right. Damn it, that's a movie. Shit. Unless they made it into a TV show. No, the one I'm thinking of wasn't. What was it? All the President's Men. Yeah, it's definitely a movie. Yeah. However, I'm going to give you a slight hint for TV show. If you think of Disney's 90s movies, they did make some TV shows out of them. I hate you. Why? Because I gave you the answer? Yeah. Th that you thought of it and not me. And it's not even on my board. Okay. Now I, I've got all of them. Okay. So, yeah, I'm only missing dormant. So, you might actually gain ground on me here. A little okay. Bit. So, I went with Armenia for country, naturally. Yeah. we As we discussed. Yeah. What did you get? Hold on. I have a gift for it. Although now I'm thinking myself for not thinking Australia. Yeah, you, you, you really should. So do you want to know what I picked for uh, for country? I have to for keeping points. I wish you people could see well, they're seeing you dancing now. Argentina. <laughs> Argentina. Okay. Naturally, it is your heritage. Uh, okay, what about um, city? Alberta. That's a province. Th that doesn't count? No, a province is like a state. I didn't know that. Um, I live in a speck. Come on. Amsterdam? Shit. I put Albany, New York, which is, uh, yeah. Is it Albany or Arbon Arbony? Albany. Okay. Uh, what about living? Armadillo. Ooh, I went algae. That's growing. I don't know. It was the first only thing I could think of. Yeah. I'm the holiday armadillo. Oh, boy. Okay, so I won't give myself algae. Uh, what'd you put growing? Apple. Asparagus. Cool. Uh, nothing for dormant. Ark. As in Noah's Ark? As in a Ark. I was thinking of Ark of the Covenant. Oh, okay, okay. That's Ark, you know. Yeah, it's dormant because nobody's quote unquote found it yet. So, yeah. Well, I mean, just Arks in general. Yeah, that's true. All right, profession. Artist. Airplane mechanic. Like that? Uh, celebrity. You're going to like this. I hope so. The late, great Alan Rickman. Oh, I thought you were going to go along the same lines as I did. I went with the most recently deceased, Alan Arkin. <laughs> oh, okay. You both had him out, and Alan. Yeah, you you had me until the late, great Alan. I was like, oh, shit, really? <laughs> All right, movie. Okay, so... We already discussed all the president's men, but this is the one I thought of, and I was like, this is very sneaky. All you need is kill, which oh. is the original name for Edge of Tomorrow. Ah, yeah, and it, technically, if I'm not mistaken, it was advertised as a name at one point as well. Yeah. Edge of Tomorrow is finally getting a fucking sequel! So I went with Anchorman. Oh, okay, that's cool, that's cool. All right, now TV show is interesting. Uh, yeah. Because you kind of gave me the answer, Aladdin the series. There you go. I went with a soap opera my mom watched when I was a kid, Another World. All right. 
Never heard of it. So I got like okay, we're not actually heathen, but now when I got one, two, three, four, five, six, I got seven right. So, um, minus city. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, cool! You actually beat me in a round. Yeah, one one it had to happen some at some point. So okay, so final round because I'm all out of space on my board. Yeah, let's do the final round. We've been playing for over an hour. I think that's perfectly fine. Yeah, me too. All right. So last round. Ooh. E. Roll again. Are you, are you familiar? No. Are you familiar with the meme? E. Can't say I have. All right. Fine. So let's just go with E then. Okay, oh, this is going to be interesting. I'm sure beginning with me. Mm. I had it in my mind. Mm. Not sure if it's a real city or a fictional city, but let's go with it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, what did you do? Oh, you're gonna you're gonna hate this. Okay. <laughs> Shit, I can't use that. <laughs> Man, that's a tough letter. Perfect one to end on. Hmm. Ooh, I finally get to use this. I really I pulled one out of my ass for celebrity. I'm actually proud of my celebrity, though. Actually, that isn't that is that does not with an E, I think. No, that doesn't. Shit. Ooh, I've got a really, really not thing I should air on say on air for dormant. Oh. I can see where your mind is going. And you know what? That's not dormant, that's growing. No, 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 no. Trust me. It's pretty dark. Oh, okay. And not so not what I, where I was where my mind was going. Uh everybody that went down to the Titanic on that sub. I know, I know, too soon. Uh, yeah, 100 years too soon. Uh, no, I'm talking about the recent one. Oh. Wait, what? You know, the, 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 the people that went down to see the Titanic about a month ago, and then their, um, their submarine uh, imploded? They all died? You didn't hear about that? No. Yeah, you should probably look that up. Pretty intense. But one thing I know is, stay away from that place. Right? Hmm. 
I'm, I'm good. I, the, the one that's always getting me is dormant. I have one for dormant, but it's out of this world. Literally out of this world. Okay. Like, it's, it's definitely out there, if you catch my meaning. Yeah. Well, I'm good. I don't know about you. So we said LG is an A, right? A L J E A E. All right. Or A L G A E. Sorry. All right, fine. It's the final round, so you know what? Screw it. I I don't have a country, growing or TV show. Okay, so for my country, I went with. I'm not sure if it's fictional or not. Estonia. Estonia is real. Damn okay. it, I should, have, I should have put Estonia. Okay, yeah, I wasn't sure if it was real or not. Yeah, I have the same issue with my city, though. Okay, what's your city? Emmerdale. Emmerdale? That might actually be fictional, that one. Yeah, that, that, that's where I was struggling with. It's a British TV show. So I could have used it for my TV show! There you go. Fucking... All right, let's count that for TV show and cities and... Uh, yeah, I don't have it. I don't have it. Yeah, anywho, okay. Um, what about living? You're gonna hate me, so let's go with your first elephant. Shit, it's so simple. It's right there. Why would I miss it? Let me guess. You want a eucalyptus plant? Eucalyptus is in with an e. E u e u. I believe. I wanted to use it for growing, but I thought it was with you. Ah, oh, I love eucalyptus as, as, as I... So what did you get for living? So, growing. Yeah, yeah no, but... You just... No, living, living, sorry, living. Ebola. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say that's living. <laughs> All right, what about growing? Well, by default, I, I was going to go with eucalyptus. I just wasn't sure if it's with an E or not. Okay. I went with the elephant ear plant, which is actually all right. Plant. All right, that 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 works. That uh, I don't have anything for dormant. I could not think of anything. I mean, like I said, mine is pretty out there. I said Europa, the moon. That is. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty dormant. Nothing it's, living. It, on it. Yeah, it used to. Allegedly, it's it used to support life, but it doesn't anymore. All right. Um, what about profession? See, I, would, I went with entertainer. That's the profession. I went with environmentalist. Mm, okay, that's cool. Uh, what about celebrity? Yeah, you said you struggled with this one. I went with Ethan Hawke. That's a good one. I went even further back, and I went with Eve Plum, who played Jan in the original Brady Bunch. Okay. Uh, movie. Okay, so this is the one I'm most proud of. Everything, anything, all at once. Every, everything, everywhere, all at once. Very nice. I went with the Clint Eastwood uh, chimp uh, monkey movie, Every Which Way But Loose. All right. And a TV show. Okay, cool. Uh, what did you get for TV show? Uh, well, I said by default, Emmerdale, because I thought right. it was a city. Okay, so I, I couldn't think of one, and the, I immediately went with the first one that popped my head, and I hate this show, Entourage. That is an E, right? E-N-T. All right. And oh. that's all she wrote, folks. Yeah. Woof. That was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. For, I forgot how much I enjoy playing this game. Like, one time at work, I wasn't playing, but two guys were playing next to me. And one of them, I kid you not, literally tried to pass off Mermaid for living. Okay. And and it, it started off a huge discussion between us. I'm like, so if we're counting mermaids, then are we also counting dragons? Like, where right. does it end? Like, are we counting dormant your brain? <laughs> Ooh, ouch. Like, uh, I think one of them... Uh, so, yeah, well, I, I left them squabbling in there for a minute. I went to the, to the bathroom, and as soon as I got out, one of them walked out to me and he's like, wait, quick, I, I need your help. Is ficus a plant? Yes. 
no. See, I, I, the first thing I, I asked, okay, okay, before I answer that, which of you am I, am I helping? Very nice. Uh, yeah, Was so you, this game, this, you this game, what? Were you helping the mermaid guy? Sadly, yes. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, uh, this is definitely a game to make and especially break relationships. Yeah, and friends. you know what? This is a fun game that we can easily play like this. Yeah. You don't have to be in the same room. Yeah. But just do do you want to go with my version with the letters or the letter generator? Um I like I like the I like that. I, I like the letters. The way you the way we did it with yours is kind of fun. My method that that's how we play it over here. Yeah. I like that, yeah. Cool. So what's your topic for next week? So no, next week I actually decided I am going to do the Richard riot, which um, is everyone thinks Canada is a nice country, but in the old days in Quebec it was very much French versus English, and it got violent sometimes. And none of it in this was I would say the the nadir the height of that, and it had to do with hockey. Mm. It uh, it was a period of like a day and a half where. The French fans didn't like something that happened to Rocket Richard. He got suspended, and uh, he ended up losing out on winning the points trophy for the year. And uh, the fans riot, the, the the French people of Montreal rioted for a day and a half. It got pretty ugly. Wow. Yeah. All right, that's all she wrote. That's all we wrote. Yeah. So. Mr. Soda, sir, where can the good people of the interwebs find you when you're not playing this game or the Disney game that you just talked about? <laughs> uh, you can find me on my personal Instagram and Twitter at Soda underscore the underscore Saxman. Uh, find me here in the Northern Entertainment Group, and you can also find me over on the So Diggin' Wrestling channel. Cool. And you can find me every Thursday on this show, uh, The Final Flags, and on every Monday on The Greatest Show in the Galaxy, also on this channel with this guy as my guest. Once again, Frequently. and uh, you can also find me on my own YouTube channel, Fifty Shades of Geek, where I do weekly reviews of every single Doctor Who episode from nine, from nineteen sixty three, all the way to twenty twenty two, as well as a few other trailer reactions that I've done over the past week, as well as all of these wonderful channels over here, from something to talk about, the aforementioned So Big in Wrestling, Luke Galaxy Geeks, uh, uh, Multiverse of Geek, the Movie Lovers Unite, the Midnight Cinema, A Town Reviews, this channel and my channel, and of course the aforementioned. In the front row, which is not on the thumbnail, but she got a, a shout out from me on there. this show. So, uh, yeah, that is it for us. From, uh, quick, we just wanted a quick reminder uh, to you guys we did this for the love of this guy right here, right. our beloved, uh, uh, depart, dear departed friend, Ben Rayner. And all we ask of you is to let your geek flag fly. That's all we're asking. So, uh, Enjoy yourselves. Have a great, have a fantastic week. And uh, if you're living in my area, make sure to drink a lot of water because it's excruciatingly hot. We saw what happened to the prime minister over the weekend. Sorry, and I have to go area, there. If you live in my area, don't light forest fires. You jackasses. Goodbye.